and for his glory, God can multiply that. God can use it. And so that we're not just sitting in the background, that although we trust God, that God's sovereignty is in, you know, that is, is rooted, ruling and is reigning and is directing and that it is in control of everything, say, I want to be involved with that. I want to be the hands and feet of God. You know, as we talk about the body of Christ, as we talk about other passages of Scripture, the body of Christ, you know, Jesus is the head, but we are his hands, we are his feet, we are the, you know, it's, we are the active, moving. God is active, God is moving, God is directing, but how are we getting on board with that? Not for us to just to sit back and just kind of wait and watch. Well, there are times for that. I think there are just as much, maybe even more times for us to be active, to be involved, to get our hands dirty, to, to say, you know, I don't know what the outcome is going, to, is going to be. I don't know how God is going to use me, but I want to be in that position that he can. And, uh, and so, although it is, you know, although as I said earlier, there are times for us to be able to say, you know, let go and let God. I think there's also plenty of times to say, you know what, I'm going to let God, but I want to be an active, you know, I want to be an active participant in this as well. All right, and so that we don't just sit back on the on the on the you know on the sidelines. You know, just like many of you, you know, that uh, are active in sports, you're you're hoping not just just to sit there on the bench the whole game. You want to get in, right? Sometimes you are going to be a cheer. You know, sometimes you're you're going to be cheering on, but other times you're going to be active. Other times you're going to be right there in the midst of it. You want to be where God wants you to be, and you want to be used how God wants you to be used. All right? Let's go ahead and close in prayer.